Hey, beautiful people. So Proverbs 7 and 21. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. So let this is this is talking about a woman who forced a man to have to make love to her, and she had a man. She was an adulteress. All right. So this is Proverbs chapter seven and seven. And beheld among the simple ones, I discern among the youths of a young man void of understanding passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a whorlet and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets and lies in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day. I have paid my vows. Therefore come, therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and I have found thee I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry and carved works with fine linen of Egypt I have perfumed my bed with myrrh aloes and cinnamon come let us take our fill of love until the morning let us solace ourselves with loves for the good man is not at home her husband he's gone on a long journey he has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at an appoint at a day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goes after her straightway and as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till a dart strikes through his liver as a bird hastens to the snare and knows not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me. Now, therefore, O you children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. But when she says here, I have, I have peace offerings with me this day, I have paid my vows. Who did she make her peace offerings to? And who did she pay vows to to find this man? Therefore, to, to get knowledge that she was going to meet this man. That wasn't of God. Therefore, I came to meet thee diligently to seek thy face. I have found thee. She did witchcraft. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry with carved works. God carved images with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh. Aloe's anointment. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. This this wasn't good. Flattering lips. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Pro Psalms twelve and two. They speak vanity every one to his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart, they speak. Proverbs 26 and 28, the lying tongue hates those that are afflicted by it, and the flattering mouth works ruin. Now, back to, yeah, so with her much fair speech, she caused him to yield, and with her flattering lips, she forced him. Force, dark forces. Psalms 12 and 3, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. All right, 1 Thessalonians 2 and 5. For neither at any time use we flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness. So nobody's supposed to be using flattering words onto you. And you shouldn't be beguiled with flattering words of any, because that is how Eve got deceived in the garden. Ezekiel 12 and 24 for there shall be no more any vain visions nor flattering divinations within the house of Israel so a lot of people are deceived even with people's vain visions and with their flattering divination not prophecies from God not visions from God Proverbs 8 and 7 for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips God's mouth speaks truth and wickedness is an abomination to his lips. Your mouth should speak truth. And wickedness should be an abomination to your lips. If you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. And if you have to lie, 
then don't even speak. You don't have to answer somebody. You have the right to remain silent. Proverbs 6 and 16. These things does the Lord hate. Yes, yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And another thing the Lord hates is in Proverbs 6 and 19. A false witness that speaks lies. And he that sows discord among brethren. So lies cause discord among brethren. Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So your mouth is supposed to be open and edifying. 2 Corinthians 12 and 19. Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things dearly beloved for your edifying. People are supposed to speak to you with edifying, not with gossiping, not with talking about other people. That's not edifying you. And it tells you speak evil of no man and to get understanding. So these people could be lying to you, sowing discord, causing ruin. You don't know why they're telling you these things about another person. It could be envy. It could be jealousy. Because an envious person and a jealous person will say anything. Proverbs 23 and 16. Yeah, my reek shall rejoice when thy lips speak right things. Your lips should be speaking right things. Proverbs 16 and 27. An ungodly man digs up evil. So there's people whose mouth they just dig. And because they're ungodly, they dig up evil. And in his lips there is, a, is, there is as a burning fire. Proverbs 16, I mean Proverbs 18 and 6. A fool's lips em, enters into contention and his mouth calls for strokes. So people who are fools, their mouth enters into a lot of contention and their mouth calls for strokes. Proverbs 15 and 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge. Are right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. The mouth of fools pour out foolishness. Do you hear me? Be careful what comes out of your mouth. Watch your mouth. Proverbs 15 and 14. The heart of him that has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. Mouth of fools pour out foolishness. And mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. 1 Corinthians 14 and 26. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you has a psalm, has a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. So how do all these people have all these revelations, interpretations? God's word is not no private interpretation. So this is what God wants you to know. People need to watch their mouth and to speak truth out of their mouth and to be careful of flattery of the mouth. As you heard what happened with this man because of flattery and that the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and you know the tongue, the those who lie will not be unpunished a false witness shall not be unpunished so this is what this is all about watch your mouth because by your for by your thy words thou shall be justified and by thy words thou shall be condemned if you don't have anything good to say don't say nothing at all and you don't have to be forced to say anything or answer anybody you have the right to remain silent and you can forever hold your peace Open your mouth in wisdom and edifying. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God.